Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're looking at the Cleveland Browns Pittsburgh Steelers trade. Another trade. But yeah, uh, trades have been going on like crazy. Obviously, you know, the season, uh, preseason's over, so teams are scrambling. And uh, this trade I felt was interesting just to kind of highlight um, something that the Cleveland Browns have been doing a lot, uh, which is going after. Uh, productive wide receivers and, explo and explosive slash uh, fast wide receivers, which is what Sammy Coates is. So uh, basically the trade that went down, uh, the Browns give up a sixth round pick uh, for Sammy Coates of the Pittsburgh Steelers. And as I usually do, I go over their analytics. I go over what they look like coming out of college, what they look like in the NFL based on data. And then just kind of give an overall sort of conclusion about who's winning, who's losing, all that kind of stuff uh, in terms of this trade. So let's start. So beginning with this trade. So Sammy Coates, uh, when it comes to his overall production data, he had an 88.45 passing yards mark share production score, uh, which hits five-time All-Pro uh, and three-time All-Pro, three-time Pro Bowl, and of course long-term starter thresholds when it comes to his overall production, which is also very good. And in terms of athleticism traits, he had a 98.27 explosive or body strength score, 92.95 speed score, and a 92.13 flexibility score. This is the caliber of, of wide receiver that the Browns have been targeting recently. Uh, like this is Corey Coleman, for example. Like this is Corey Coleman's production, very similar to Sammy Coates. And this is Corey Coleman in terms of athleticism traits, very similar to Sammy Coates. Uh, so they, they, they have had a trend of going after explosive fast athletes who are productive in college and this kind of fits with uh, the type of guy that they're looking for uh, and then you look at his overall NFL production this is where things have been a little bit different um, Sammy Coates has not been the most productive NFL wide receiver um, his most productive season was in 2016 where he had a 57.75 overall market share score which is MSY score which is basically just overall market share production score uh, which would basically make him like a top 150, top 125 type of wide receiver uh, in the NFL, which you can do the math on what that means logistically. But, uh, you know, he, he's not exactly a high-end uh, wide receiver. Typically, you want a wide receiver who's like 80% on, 90% on plus. And Coach doesn't really fit um, that mold. However, he does fit the mold of what the Cleveland Browns want at the wide receiver position, uh, which is explosive, fast, wide receivers who were productive in college and that basically is what Sammy Coates is uh, so ultimately who wins this trade well the way you have to think about this trade is the Cleveland Browns of course they give up a six rounder for Sammy Coates um, what you have to ask yourself is would the Browns have found a player like Sammy Coates in the sixth round uh, if you look at the data probably less likely it probably would be less likely to find uh, a wide receiver with this type of athleticism and this type of production in the sixth round. So in this way, it's kind of a win for the Browns, kind of, sort of, but it, it's really dependent on what that fifth rounder becomes also. Uh, well, sixth rounder, excuse me. Uh, so, it, you know, it, it's really tough to say. But in my opinion, I mean, the Browns would, would obviously view this as a win uh, because Sammy Coates is technically a rare prospect. And if you think about it, if you draft, if they were to draft a wide receiver in the sixth round with this pick, uh, lat, you know, next year, then would they get a wide receiver who fits this kind of athleticism and production kind of standpoint? I don't think so. Um, normally, those wide receivers are usually taken a little bit earlier than that. Uh, normally, especially ones that come out of the SEC. Uh, so I think in a way, it's kind of an even trade, you know, in a way. But I just kind of wanted to get some of the thought process. Of the Browns again they've been trying to get these types of wide receivers wide receivers that are productive in college and have all these sort of athleticism traits and I just kind of wanted to highlight this trade as an example of that continuing trend that they keep wanting to go after these types of guys and Sammy coach is just another example of this type of dude um, now film wise it's a totally different story because Sammy coach on film is a bit of a mess but when it comes to just athleticism and production he kind of fits all this stuff uh, so again, uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Geometrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. 
Uh, share this video as well with anybody that you know, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.